the Beatles sound is known to most music fans, and it's a sound many of them believe changed the face of rock and roll worldwide. The band brought their sound to New Zealand shores in 1964 and played a show in Dunedin on the 26th of June. I think it was a huge thing. It was like royalty coming to town. Um, that sort of thing uh, we don't really see anymore. Um, and uh, it was quite common for the big pop stars of the day to... Uh, Know, for you to see the, the, the streets lined with people and you know people desperate for a glimpse. Several Dunedin bands recognised the anniversary of the visit by performing Beatles songs at Taste Merchants over three nights at the weekend. Steadman, the cafe owner, says he wanted to give local artists a chance to pay tribute to the group and budding fans a chance to hear the iconic sound. And even after 50 years, he still hears stories from people who remember the tour. I've bumped into people out there who've... Um, you know, who were there or, um, you know, tell me it's an anecdote of the time. Um, one lady who turned down a ticket at uh, age 13 because she preferred the Rock Stones. He says many people remain passionate about the music and that sees bands continue to cover the most well-known songs. And for most fans, the Beatles were much more than just something to listen to. Oh, because they were a phenomenon as much as they were a band that was... Um you, you know, it was that whole youth, youth culture thing um, coming forward where they gave young people a bit of a voice. I think that's what makes them special is the, the fact that they're greater than the sum of their parts. They're all incredible as individuals, but as a group they were kind of the blueprint, I think, for, a, for what's still happening 50 years later. And that model seems set to influence musicians for at least another 50 years. John McKenzie, 39 Deneen News. And now